morning. Um, I am just sitting on the bathroom floor getting ready. It's so dark and cloudy today that I've got to sit here so I can have the natural light from the windows. I wanted to hop on here and because this is a vlog from January that I filmed and I never got uploaded, there was a corrupt file somewhere within the vlog and every time I would upload it to YouTube, it would get about halfway uploaded and then give me an error message. So, oh my gosh, it took going through and deleting clip by clip by clip by clip and just narrowing it down to see what clip it was. There was a period where I gave up. I was like, I'm just not doing this. This is gonna take way too long. I'm just gonna take the L on this vlog and just keep going and then film another one. And Ryan actually <laughs> went into my camera and found the corrupt file on my memory card through the camera and was able to find it that way and he deleted it. And then I just deleted it from the vlog because I couldn't figure out how to fix it um, in my computer or on the camera. So I just like deleted it. It was a whole entire scene. Like it was like a 14 minute long clip, but I was like, whatever, I just deleted it. And so now I'm gonna post the vlog, but Obviously, I wanted to get on here and let you guys know <laughs> that this is from January, but I decided to go ahead and post it. Got these um, mineral sunscreen blush, blush from Nude Sticks. I love Nude Sticks. I love their um, their lips and their like all of their pencils are just so good. They sent me these blushes and I love them so much. They come in all of these colors, but I've been loving this like darker, Kind of orangey. Oh, might have, might have overdone it. So my YouTube schedule coming up is, I decided to just go ahead and post this vlog. Um, it just like doesn't seem relevant anymore, but I didn't want to waste it. Blade spent so long editing it, you know, just like he does all the vlogs. So I didn't want it to just like be deleted from my computer and then just not post it. So I'm gonna go ahead and post it and then the next video will be a spring style video. I'm gonna go through my closet. I'm actually gonna film that today. I'm gonna go through my closet and pick out some staples that I think are so great for spring, staples that you can like build outfits on. Um, so I'm gonna try to make that like a really good video, more like an educational, Style video. After that, hopefully the next week will be more of like a real time life update vlog, what we've been doing the past couple of months and um, like a house update, life update, all of that. Whoa, my lips look so dark on camera, but they are not this dark in the mirror. That's insane. All right, I'm gonna end this clip. I really just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know um, what to expect in the next few weeks in terms of videos what this video is, why it wasn't posted, and that it's going live now, and um, yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you next week for the style, spring style video. Good morning. I'm trying this again today. I had a just fail, fail of a day yesterday. I vlogged like halfway through the day. I had a really nice like schedule set up for myself yesterday. I was vlogging and I was filming style videos, which I normally don't do both on the same day because I use the same camera for both. So it's just easier if I can separate the two, but I was like, no, 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 I'm going to just tackle it. I'm going to knock them both out. Like I can do it. I loaded my clips onto the camera that my camera was in picture setting the whole time. So all the footage I had shot was just completely blurry. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Mm. I'm starting over today. That's what I'm doing, I'm starting over. It's probably gonna be just a really relaxed vlog indoors because we had this, I'm sure a lot of you guys were affected by this winter storm that's like blowing through. Since this is the first vlog back of the new year, I'll show you what I got for Christmas and some things that Rumi got for Christmas. Even though now that I'm thinking about it, I can't even think of what she got for Christmas. I wanted to get her one of those helper towers where she can like sit at the stand at the counter because she's always so interested when I'm making my coffee or making breakfast or something. 
but I think she's still a little too little and wobbly. I feel like I'm kind of backlit. But Ryan is gone. He is at a work thing, like a conference. So it's just Rumi and I and Winnie and stuff. I'm gonna go finish getting ready. I have to make Rumi's breakfast in like 20 minutes anyway. So um, I'm just gonna try to like quickly fix my hair and finish getting ready. And then we'll see what's Something new is coming over me. I'm finally free. just mm. I wanted to show you a couple of things I got for Christmas so my mom asked me what I needed for Christmas and I told her cute lounge clothes because I truly look like it's just so disheveled on like my comfy days I've got my XL men's sweatpants my XL men's t-shirt which is very comfortable but you know sometimes you just want to feel cute when you're there's like the real ugly kinds of days and then there's like cute comfy kinds of days. She got me this set from Aerie, which I don't think I've ever been in an Aerie store, but I'm definitely going to go because this is so cute. It's just a super lightweight comfy set. I like how it doesn't have a drawstring. It's just an elastic waist. And the top is just kind of like a wider neck oversized sweatshirt that I just kind of front tuck and it's so cute with sneakers, with um, like ankle Uggs. Very, very cute and comfy. Here are the pants. Oh, I'm okay, I'm wearing the pants, that's what. Um, I guess you probably saw them in my, the previous, um, when I was in the kitchen, but they're just like a black wide leg pant. Um, they're a little bit thicker and structured than the airy. They're not as like soft and flowy. The top is a zip up actually which I like because sometimes when it's a little cooler, I like to do um, like a sports bra, bra top underneath, but it's got a bat wing sleeve. I like how it doesn't have a hood. A little less sporty and athletic. Also got a strapless bra. I've had the hardest time finding one that my boobs don't just like slowly come out of or slowly rides down. I think my biggest problem with strapless bras is after like, 10 minutes it just starts slowly sliding and I'm constantly having to pull it up. I read the reviews for this one from Skims and it had great reviews and a lot of people pointed out that it doesn't slide down so I grabbed one and I actually wore it all day yesterday while I was filming and I think maybe two times I had to pull it up. Like every time I would put my arms up it would kind of scooch down um, but I think I could fix that by it making a little tighter. I'm going to finish styling my outfits. I pulled like the main pieces, like the actual outfit, but now I just need to pull like shoes, bags, sunglasses. wrapped up filming three reels and I just hung everything back up just, uh, and knocked this over. I got this for Rumi's playroom. I thought it was so sweet. Cute. Like 16 to 20 different outfits that I pulled yesterday and show you two things that I got from Zara that I forgot to show you earlier. But this sweater, which is kind of out of the norm for me to buy, but it's like a very chunky knit sweater this pair of denim with these cutouts you know i'm not quite sure how i feel about this rhinestone detail like i don't know i mean you can also tuck them in like you don't have to wear it but i don't know but i thought these were really cool they're just like very plain basic blue with the cutout so i'm gonna go in the office and edit what i just filmed and get it scheduled i'm gonna go get started take a quick break from editing and show you my coffee maker I don't know why it's I'm blanking on what it's called this is what it looks like actually I just remembered it's the Breville Barista Express and it's got a grinder so you get fresh ground 
um, espresso beans and then this is where you make your espresso so you just grind the beans brew it and it tastes so good like I cannot even believe I've been messing with my Nespresso for this long this was expensive normally not something I would put into like a kitchen appliance but you know I am obsessed with my lattes love my lattes I am so happy with this purchase and if you go out and get coffee all the time you want to save money you want to make it at home this machine is definitely well well worth the price I will say and so many people actually told me this on Instagram. They were like, you're not going to regret it. Just do it. Like, pull the trigger, do it. And I was like, it's so expensive. Like, I just don't know if I could spend this much on a coffee maker. And I'm so glad I did because it is, like, next level. Just tastes so amazing. Tastes just like I went and grabbed coffee. I was normally going three to four days a week. It's like, I'm so embarrassed to say, but I was going three to four days a week. And since I've had this machine... Um, I've gone once and that's because I went to go get another bag of beans and I just grabbed one while I was there. also have this it is the Drew Barrymore line and it is basically what this is but just for drip coffee so it grinds fresh beans and just makes drip coffee which Ryan's more of a drip coffee drinker but I did try this as well and it was very very good very rich and bold and was like delicious both machines I will say way better than my Nespresso which I actually put in the office because I still have some pods left over Sandra just took Rumi on a walk so I'm gonna get her room ready for bedtime um, since it's just me like usually Ryan and I split bedtime duties like one of us will get the room ready I'll bathe her he'll clean the house he'll do like the PJs I'll do the bottle and so since it's just me tonight um I like to prep everything before Sandra leaves that way when it's time to put her to bed tonight everything's like already ready the bottles already in the fridge curtains are already closed Got her sleep sack, got her babies in there. I'll get her jammies ready. I feel it in my fingers, a pounding in my chest. The thought of it just lingers, it takes away my breath. I got these mixing bowls for Christmas. They are so nice. I was definitely running low on the mixing bowl department but these are stainless steel mixing bowls and they have graters that fit on top of them which is so genius and then they come with all of the lids as well and they're just like a really pretty neutral beige color and then i also got this veggie chopper that i've been wanting for i think for like nine months six months long time but sure you guys have seen this on Instagram. So you you put both of your attachments on each side and then it just chops. I'm the worst onion chopper. I get literal tears just pouring down my face and my eyes burn so bad. And so these are the attachments for the onion. You literally just put the onion in, squeeze it, and then you've got tiny little onion cubes. Ryan's flying back tonight. He just changed his flight so he could get back tonight instead of tomorrow night. I guess he just missed us too much. So this is the playroom as of now. It is just like this upstairs landing area that we have gated off. Um, there's like paint samples everywhere because we are going to turn this into a movie room. So we are going to put a pit couch <laughs> right here. And then we're going to put a projector on the wall. Couch will go here. And then projector. And then Rumi's playroom will be in this bedroom right here. What is it? Aww. It's your Christmas book. That's so fun reading area right here and then I've got these two baskets these are just like little soft toys spinners her blocks in here and then we got these two things on Amazon for toy storage we've got um 
like her electronic toys over here and then her non-electronic toys over here. You're gonna put it on, look. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Right, it's time for Rumi's smoothie. And she usually has a smoothie every day at 3.30. I batch make just like a giant blender of smoothie and then I'll freeze. And then I'll just do three cubes or three circles. We'll usually fill up her smoothie cup. And she provides the entertainment from her counter seat. This is Dark cherry, blueberry, spinach, hemp seeds, chia seeds, peanut butter, yogurt, and a little bit of whole milk and banana. Did I say banana? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you got most of it on your shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta film with my phone for a bit. I need to go let all of my camera batteries charge. I have completely run them all down today. the abrupt ending to the vlog the other day that was like three days ago um we were about to start like dinner time bath time bedtime but my camera died we just door dashed ordered burgers and just ate dinner played around bath bedtime and then ryan actually changed his flight and got home that night so he's been home for a few days but it's friday now and i just wrapped up work for the week, um, I just finished filming. I had two campaigns to film, edited them, got them sent in, and planned content for next week. Old outfits, but I washed my hair. Feels so nice and clean. I just started using the um, Kristen S shampoo and conditioner. I the smell is like pretty strong. It's like all I can smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's just like very perfumey smelling. I don't love it. I do like I do like the way it makes my hair feel. It's the even like the shampoo is very moisturizing and I'm I it's a clean brand, so um I like it. Works well, but it definitely is very strong. The roots are so bad. I'm not coloring my hair anymore. I'm gonna let my hair just like breathe for a little bit. No color. I might put some toner and kind of bring the toner down to kind of blend the root so it's not such a harsh line but fear not because I've done that before and like I do that all the time I am confident in those capabilities but I'm about to put some more comfortable clothes on I'm about to go grab Rumi and take her for a walk I think Ryan is upstairs with her in the playroom so I'm just gonna put on something comfortable 
and warm. It's still pretty cold. Actually, I wanted to show you a few things I got from Revolve. I haven't ordered from Revolve in a while, but I wanted to show you a few things that I got. So first I got this dress from LPA for spring. It's a dark brown, really pretty like chocolate brown. It's got this corset style top comes to like a v and um it's just like a midi dress and it kind of just flows out but it's got a pretty high slit which i love i think with like some chocolate brown sandals or like something tan would be nice two sweaters so i got this one just a cable knit i've got a wider sleeve just basic sweater this one's really soft like I could even wear this with like, I don't know, leggings and just for like a lounge day at home. Got this black and white striped, also kind of a wider sleeve. Um, this one's got a turtleneck, which I don't love. I don't know how I didn't notice that, but I did it. Um, it just, it like kind of oddly folds down. Like it doesn't look like it's supposed to fold down when you fold it down, but it also looks weird standing up. I don't know, I think I need to play with it, but I still love it. It's like more of a chunky knit. I got this top that I thought would be cute in the spring with just a pair of jeans, but it's just a simple ribbed, kind of got a sweetheart neckline, stretchy top um, with feather sleeve. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> me another one. You ready? Push it in. Wow! Ready? Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, thank you. So good. Are you thirsty? Sandwich? Okay. Good job. Another sandwich? Sandwich! Yummy! <gasps> Cookie! On our plate. Oh yeah, get your plate. Oh. Alright, I made Rumi and I a little snack plate for playtime. I mean, really, she can only have grapes, pretzels, apple with almond butter. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. socks. Whoops. This is a three to six month sock, Brian. Where'd this come from? It was on the counter over here. <laughs> Can you put your shoe on? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you do? Okay. Where's your, where's your coat? Right here. Oh, I'll take it. Come here. Miss, miss, miss. Excuse me. No shoes Excuse in the house. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It was at that moment on their walk where they realized they should have got their coats. I can agree. It's, yeah. it's not not cold. Yeah, 43 like, is, is coat weather. It feels good in the sun, but then as soon as you hit a shady spot, it's like 10 degrees colder. Somehow the breeze also just kicks in in shady spots. I know. What, what do you want for dinner tonight? Turkey burgers and steak. How about that? A double meat situation. Double meat. With you. Do you guys remember when we lived in New York and Ryan would eat the most random combinations? Like, you... I need to go back and find the clips, clips because you would put like noodles with beans. I think it's Rice. common for most men to just be big, like, bowl of stuff guys. Give me stuff, I'll throw it in a bowl, and I'll eat it. I don't know that that's common. Claw clips coming out, that means it is dinner and then bath time.
Wow. <laughs> the fastest girl in this house. Whoa. Tree has to come down. It just has to. We can't make excuses anymore. Yeah. I kind of just want to leave it. No. Is that bad? Like that one house down the street. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you about ready to go get in the tub? Oh, bad. Bathtub. Yeah. Bathtub. 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 Battery's about to die. Night night. Can you say night night? Just sleep anymore. I think last time I showed you guys our nighttime routine, it's pretty much all the same except she doesn't like to be rocked to sleep immediately. She just wants in her crib because that's where she's comfortable. She doesn't want to be like held in your arms. She like will start pushing you away. All she wants to do is be on her stomach in a little ball in her crib. So Ryan will put her down. And while I was giving her a bath, he was cleaning the kitchen, clearing the table and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to clean the floors. I just go over them with my wet vacuum. And then Ryan will vacuum the rugs and then we'll go shower and get in bed. Just showered, got in bed, already had a bowl of cereal. Two things before I sign off. Number one, I forgot to tell you guys about this robe I got for Christmas. It is probably one of my favorite just things that I own in general. I live in this robe. Um, I'm gonna, I'll post a video of what it looks like on right here, but it is so comfortable. I got a size two. It comes in size one, two, three, which is really odd, but I got a size two. It's like slightly oversized, but just like really, really cozy. But I love the color and it's, just my favorite thing ever. And number two, lastly, why has no one told us to watch Fargo? Yeah. Like we've, you know, I just feel like I'm wondering why. Well, the show's been around for so long and nobody let and us know. Nobody told us about it. We benched season one um, last week and now we're on season two and it's just really good. It's, I wouldn't say it's like edge of your seat good, you know, but it's like definitely twists and turns and plot twists and it's not horror. It's police. Every season is different. Um, so like every cast is different, storyline is different. Um, so it's watched Saltburn last week and then we started Fargo, which we both really loved Saltburn, but now we're hooked. Fargo so we'll probably finish the whole series I'm gonna go ahead and sign off I've got one minute left on my memory card and I don't have anything to delete um, but happy new year first vlog back of the new year